Welcome back gentlemen, my name is Diego, this is Apex of Man, and today we're going to be discussing the five lessons I learned from Khabib Nurmagomedov, the GOAT of the UFC. To all of you out there who have been living under a rock, Khabib Nurmagomedov is considered one of the greatest athletes in the UFC's history. He has a record of 29 and 0, he has been undefeated during his entire UFC career and is considered by many the greatest of all time in the sport. No John Jones, no none of that. Khabib Nurmagomedov. So Khabib recently retired. It was an incredibly sad day for sports in general, but particularly for the UFC and fans of the UFC. He's had a very rough year. His father unfortunately passed away, a role model for him, and he said, this is it. This was my last fight. That's the end of his incredible career. I don't think he will come back. He promised his mother he was not going to come back and do no more fights. This man is a man of principle, a man of values, a man of family, a man of community. He's a religious man. And I I learned so much from him in the past few years that I have been following the sport and I specifically following him as an individual and I wanted to share with you the five top lessons I learned from Khabib Nurmagomedov. Number one, enjoy and seek suffering. This will make you mentally strong. This is one of the lessons I learned from Khabib. This man was born and raised in Dagestan, a small province in the southern regions of Russia. This is a province that is very poor, where people are fighting every day to get their food, to get their pay, to move their families forward. This is a province where people are hard. They're hardened by their circumstances. Their circumstances are very precarious, very scarce. And this is where Khabib was raised. He was raised in a village where people were not given the luxuries that we have nowadays. They, they weren't on social media all the time. They, they didn't have heaters. They didn't have running water. They didn't have all of these luxuries. No TVs, none of that. So from a very, very young age, his father, Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov, a true role model for him, he started putting him and all his brothers, I think there were 15 brothers, something absolutely insane, 15 brothers on a daily training routine. Right before they went to school, they would run up and down a mountain. Before they went to school, then do training, weight training, and then fight amongst themselves. After that, they would go to school, come back, and then they would do more fight training in the afternoon. His father was an incredibly important person for the MMA and the UFC in that region and, and created some schools and some gyms in that region. And you see, from a very young age, Khabib was raised with this philosophy of fight, of grit, of you need to work and sacrifice for the future and for what you want to achieve. His father even made him fight a freaking bear. A bear, I'll leave the video right now. A father sees his son nearing manhood. What shall he tell that son? Life is hard. Be steel. Rock. This is absolutely crazy. Like his father fought, made him fight a bear to build character, to build that confidence, that grit, that mental fortitude, and to forget all fear. This, of course, if this would have happened in probably any other country in the West, brother, his father would still would be in jail and would be in jail for many, many. Years. Not there. Sometimes you have to go the extra mile to teach your children that suffering, that that sacrifice, that forget all fear and move courageously forward. So that is definitely one of the, the lessons I learned. Seek suffering and learn from suffering. Number two, be alone often and focus on building your mind. This is incredibly important because in today's world, we are distracted by absolutely everything. You, can't, you cannot walk down the street in peace. There are so many ads, so many things trying to grab your attention. Social media is designed to addictively hook you on it and not let you leave the freaking platforms. TikTok has created an incredible algorithm for you to stay hooked on the screen and never leave. So we have no time to, for silence. We don't enjoy the silence anymore. This is a travesty. This is a regression for our personal development because if we're constantly distracted by external factors and screens, social media, TV, all of these people, all of these other things, you will not be able to understand your mind and understand the demons that live within your mind and know how to conquer them, know how to integrate them into your personality and truly become the man you need to be. Focus on your mind, enjoy the silence, stay with yourself. Focus on sitting down sometime every day at least and, and, and look at your own thoughts. Consider your own thoughts, evaluate what is going on in your mind and understand that the only way to improve is to understand who you are without all of these distractions. Solitude is very creative if you're a strong person. You have to have a strong will to be alone with your own thoughts because those thoughts are often terrible and, and highlight your deficiencies and demons in ways that many times you do not want to face, but you have to face. 
and in the end, the final decisions are made in silent rooms. Number three, never forget your roots. You see, Khabib Nurmagomedov constantly goes back to Dagestan. He lives in Dagestan. He lives in a hut with his family, with his mother, with his father, with all his 15 brothers, and is constantly engulfed in that community that raised him. He hasn't gone off to live in LA in a $50 million mansion with all of these cars and all of these women and these drugs and all this entertainment. Forget about that. He is a man that stuck to his roots, goes back to his community, lives in his community, and doesn't need all the flash. He's looking for legacy. He's not looking for money. So understand and appreciate your roots. For most of us, our grandparents were either serfs, slaves, or lived in the absolute worst conditions imaginable. So understand all the work that came before you, all the hard work, the sweat, the blood, the tears that people put in before you for you to be right here where you are today. Looking at this video on your smartphone, sitting in a comfortable bed with a heater, you're not hungry, you're not cold, you're enjoying a life of relative comfort and luxury in comparison to all those who came before you who fought for you to be where you are today. So be grateful. Have gratitude and understand where you came from. Never forget your roots and honor your roots. Stay humble. Go back to your village. Go back to your hometown and really help those communities. Help the community that built you. Help the community that made you the man you are today. Number four. Put God before all things. Khabib Nurmagomedov is certainly the most renowned Muslim athlete ever, probably. Maybe behind Muhammad Ali. Khabib Nurmagomedov is a very religious man. A man who is deeply, deeply connected to his values and who makes homage to his values every, every day and in all the interactions that he has. This has allowed him to become closer to his family, closer to his community, and kept him humble. Because it's very easy to, to lose your values, to lose your root and your groundedness when you're getting very, very famous. As famous as he is, when you get, so, you get more than $10 million a fight, which is what he is getting. So it's very, very complicated to stay humble and really connected to your past, your roots, as we have discussed, when all of this fame comes your way and all of these blessings come your way. But he's a very religious man. This is what keeps him connected. And I, and I know many of you out there are probably not religious or quite against the idea of religion, but it doesn't matter. Everybody has a God. There are no atheists out there. It doesn't matter if your God is drugs, women, sex, fame, money. So the top of your value hierarchy functions as your God. So make sure the top of your value hierarchy is something positive, something that is moving you forward, something that keeps you humble, a set of ideals and a set of values that truly can unlock the potential for you to become a true man, a courageous man, a humble man, a man who gives back, a man who is generous. Don't let fame, drug, all of these things become your gods. These are false gods and they will only lead you down the path of destruction and will lead you directly to hell. I don't know why, why I have so much everything in my life. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, I want to say thank you so much, God, first of all. Вот так все может на мои плечи обрушиться. Альхамдулилля. Если у вас есть родители, будьте рядом с ними, все. У меня один остался родитель, это моя мама. Я хотел бы побольше времени ей уделить. Finally, number five. Too much money has killed men and left them dead years before burial. Understand this, Khabib Nurmagomedov is a humble man who is not swayed and, and persuaded and, and tempted by all of these riches that he is getting. He is focused on legacy. He always talks about legacy, not money, not fame. What is important to him is to make an impact, to change the UFC, which he has undoubtedly changed. He has inspired many athletes to follow his route. He has gone back to his community and improved the lives of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in that community. He has created national pride for the sport and for Muslims out there who are fans of the sport and see him as a representative, not only of their religious values, but of their personal values as a sports figure. So it's incredibly important to not be swayed by money and material possessions. Material possessions will lead you down a terrible path. And even if you want riches and all of this, that's a noble aim because it usually shows competence. Competence as an individual, if you can achieve these through, of course, moral means. But don't have that be your ultimate goal. Don't have money or material possessions be your ultimate value. Don't, don't have that function as your God because you're going to not only be unsatisfied and incredibly unfulfilled, 
but you will not get those riches in the first place because you'll be so miserable pursuing something material that is never going to fulfill you that, that ma those material possessions will not be able to compound and multiply the way that you want them to because you're not focused on a proper value hierarchy that is positive and moving you forward. I'm going to leave one more clip of Khabib in Dagestan that really shows this and how he actively fights against being swayed by all these temptations and all these material possessions. He says, I'm focused on the belt. I don't care about the money, the belt and the legacy is what is important to me. Sometimes like when you win belt, <clears throat> with belt coming like a lot of attention, a uh, lot of money, like like crazy stuff, a lot of crazy stuff. And I do want this belt change me, you know. I want to stay focused. I want to after Ramadan beginning training and come back this year and defend this title, you know, like I'm a little bit worried about this belt because sometimes you think, oh, now like you're UFC champion, like a lot of stuff, but I'm a little bit scared about this. I don't want to change. I want to be same Habib, like before belt and after belt. And uh, this is not about me. This is about all people around me. Well, that's it for me today, gentlemen. Those were the five lessons I've learned from Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's incredibly sad that he has retired, but he has absolutely changed the sport and he's changed the way I see life in many ways. So focus on that family, God, values, moving forward, the things that really matter. Don't get lost in, in all of the fog and entertainment and material possessions that are thrown at us in today's society. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Give a like. Tell me what is working for you. Give me feedback. I'm serving you. I want to provide you with the most value. So please, always, constant feedback. And subscribe to the channel if you're very interested in videos like this. That's it for me today, gentlemen. Those were the five lessons I learned from Khabib Nurmagomedov. See you next time.